guys, it's Sonya Miller here, Junk Monkey Paint Company. Welcome back to my channel. Of course, we vlog on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Always something new for you guys, whether it's DIYs and throwing paint on something or another, taking you on our travels, recipes, you name it, all kinds of behind the scenes goodness over here. So thank you for being here with us. And I think right now, as of the time of this video, we are about to hit 3,000 subscribers. And so I just wanna say a huge thank you for all your support. So today, I'm gonna give back to you guys and show you how to do the cutest little like cotton stems. You know what I'm talking about? I'm actually gonna reach behind me Take from my gallery wall what I mean when I say this so that you guys will know what I'm talking about. So one of the things I love is pussy willows and cotton stems, things like that. There you go. I reached up behind behind me and this is just some paintings that I've done before. And um, But I'm going to show you like how to kind of recreate these in a very simple way. And instead of using my journal today, I'm going to use just a cabinet door that I have kicking around here. I use, I've, I've had lots of cabinet doors because of the fact that I uh, used to paint kitchen cabinets and so I would always do sample doors. Now this one here, this side had I think mouse in the house at one point on it. This side over here was a vlog that um, I did on here on my channel. So if you want to see how I got this look right here, the chippy hippie look is what uh, we affectionately call it. Make sure you go look for that vlog. Just plug in Chippy Hippie and uh, it'll show you how to do it. So I've already got a background going down on here. So I figured, you know what, let's just go ahead and work on that one. Um, the other option would be, of course, you know, just to go ahead and pull out your journal if you want to practice. Um, just, you know, practice getting better at your art, okay? But let's just go ahead today and paint right on a cabinet door. Stick of chalk is gonna be my friend because it's going to basically help me um, get a guide, okay? So, and it will disappear when I'm done. So that's what I like. So this is the first, the best way, I think in my mind, to map out something. And of course, I could put it this way or I could put it this way. I'm probably gonna just leave it horizontal like this. And I'm picturing in my mind maybe three cute little cotton stems. And so I think this would be so easy and so cute for you guys to give it a try, okay? So basically, the cotton stems are like puffy clouds, all right? So if you can draw a cloud, and you guys, I know you've seen clouds, right, in the sky, and they kind of look like a longer bottom, and then they have like, you know, these like fluffy little tops on them, right? So do you see what I'm saying? Like more straighter across the bottom, and again, using your chalk stick is gonna give you the ability to be able to place it just, you know, that's gonna look really visually appealing. So let's do another one right here. So again, longer bottom across the bottom. And then we're gonna do basically half circle, half circle, half circle, half circle, okay? You picking up what I'm laying down here? All right, there we go, one, two. And let's just do one more. Now I can kind of erase that if I feel like it's gonna like be in the way. One, two, let's just do one right here. One, two, three. Get that puffy ball to where I want it to look. And then I can kind of like in my mind imagine where the stems would be, right? Just to kind of like lay it out. Real easy. So chalk stick is definitely gonna be your friend when you are mapping out design. All right, hope I fall allergies. I am working in the studio today. It is Wednesday and you can hear all kinds of construction outside the window. I had to open the window though because it's just beautiful, you know, cool fall air coming in. Loving all the oxygen, but uh, it might be a little bit noisy, so now you get to hear the sounds of Ligonier, Pennsylvania. All right, so because I'm a shabby style painter, if you haven't figured that out yet, I like to, um, everything I create, I love to create it in a shabby fashion, okay? So let me go ahead and get my paintbrush a little bit wet here. Uh, by the way, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, click Sonia's favorite things, you'll find my link to um, my favorite set of paintbrushes. Because I love my shabby paintbrush, Chevy uh, chip brush that you guys see me use all the time, especially when I'm working on furniture. But when I'm doing like art and decor, I love to have a smaller brush set to be able to like work with, right? So now what I'm doing is basically I'm creating the shadow. So I've already got the map. I'm just tracing over that shape to give me some poofiness, right? Imagine, imagine basically a rain cloud. So those, those, you know, you were thinking white puffy clouds. We're gonna get there, but first let's turn them into rain clouds. So we have that shadow because, like I say, I am somebody who loves to create 
shabby style. All right, so I like that coming through right there. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in my water jar and let's go ahead and dry that so we can begin the next step. Okay, so it dries really, really quick. I'm using our Junk Monkey Chalky Style paint. It gives me that flat, matte, old, timey look that I love. And because our paint sticks to pretty much any surface under the sun, it makes it really easy. So that means I'm not just limited to um, creating on like just a certain kind of wood or something like that, right? Or on canvas. I can like put, I can do this on a glass, you know, like a mason jar. I can do this on a sheet of tin, whatever it is that floats your boat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my paintbrush ready for the next step. So now I'm gonna go ahead, that was the black velvet that I laid down, now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stash of antique lace here, and now I'm going to trace over the same thing again, okay? So let's go ahead and trace over, and, but this time, I'm really like, I wanna see some of the, um, the black coming through, right? I'm still gonna show that it has that poofy cloud again. but I'm not getting OCD about it, right? Like puffy cloud there, puffy cloud there. All right. I like my puff balls to be aged. One, two. And again, I'm a messy, shabby painter, so I don't look for perfection. I'm not gonna get carried away with like, as long as people know what they are, you know what I'm saying? That's what I want them to be, I want them to know. So there we go, I'm just gonna fill in a little bit of the centers. Just leave it like that for right now. All right, let's go ahead and stick that into my water dish. Okay, let's dry this up and get ready for the next step. Well, that was easy. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a, let me find a plate over here. You guys know I love to reuse my, reuse and repurpose all kinds of stuff around here. So now what I'm looking to do is just grab a stick. I'm gonna get a little bit of the um, black velvet, just a tiny, tiny bit on here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and spray some water into it. What that will do is really make my paint the perfect consistency for what I want to do next, which is really be able to add some design to the piece and make it come to life, right? So we've laid down those two layers of our black velvet and our antique lace to really just like create some dimension, make it interesting to the eye. And uh, the cool thing about our paint is it is acrylic based. It's perfect for painters and you can take it from working on furniture, but you can also add some water, really blend it down to get the consistency that you like to work with. So for example, when I do lettering and things like this, you'll often see me add some water to really just be able to do that. Um, but our paint is made with such nice pigments that what happens is um, it, you don't lose the awesomeness of the paint, right? So now you just make it your own consistency. So. That's what's really cool. And it will definitely make your paint go a whole lot further. You'll be like, I have enough paint for days. All right, so now let's just go ahead and remember how I told you at the beginnings we're thinking clouds, right? So the first thing we're gonna do is trace out those clouds that you in your mind saw, okay? So imagine across the bottom, right? More, it's more, um, what do you call it? The straighter part, the clouds on the top, Now you wanna give this curves. So straight across the bottom. Again, not trying to be perfect, more really swooping. And move on. All right, let's get the other one. One, base is there, we got right here. And we got right there, right? Now I like people to be able to, like, I like to go back and add in just 
a little bit more, do you see how we have those like create, creating the, the shapes of those puff balls? And I did that because what I'm doing is making sure I'm going in and I'm letting um, what looks like the puffiness like really come inside, right? All right, then there's no mistaking it. These are definitely puffy, puffy cotton stems. All right, now on the bottom of one of these stems, what happens is you're gonna see what looks like a little claw, like the little, um, how should I call it? Kind of like these little feet, okay? They look like tiny little feet that come up and they it's basically where the cotton attach, attaches to the stem. And so I wanna just real quick, basically just make them look like V's, 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 and then add what will be like a Y on the bottom, okay? Got it? Let's do that again. So we're gonna go V, V, and then add in your base. Your stem can go anywhere. You can put these in vases, you know, so you can really get, you know, I'm just doing kind of like short ones right now to fit within the space. But just know that you can like do a vase full of these. It would be beautiful. So let's do the V and then the stem. You got it? Look at these cute little cotton balls. I am loving it. So now I can go back in and I can really kind of like darken up the bases of these. Just trace over that black line that I added at the bottom just to give it a little bit more oof. Right? Oh, I like that. All right, let's go ahead and dry that out real quick. Now I'm thinking that um, much like if you saw my paintings in the beginning, that I am a teal lover. So I'm thinking that maybe what I'll do is just do a little dry brush of teal just to make this pop because right now it's super, super shabby because we've just got, we've got some, um, the light color going on, but there's just two colors right now, right? And so we want to make it um, just pop even more. Remember things of three, let them be in design. And I want to add one more color in here just because I really want it, to, want it to bring it to life, make it a little more interesting. And I'm pretty sure, yep, I do have my Teal River here close by. So let me go ahead, my Teal River. All right, let's stir it up a little bit there. And now let's go ahead and grab a brush and go bananas on the outside, adding like basically a frame. So one of the cool things, excuse me, my nose keeps running. Time for my allergy pill again today, I guess. Um, what would I do with that Claritin? All right, so I've got my shabby chip brush here and um, you can see I use these over and over again. And I love it, I love it, love it, love it. So for what I'm about to do, using a brush that's been around for a long time and it's kind of like harder on the end, that's perfect for what I'm going to do, right? The cool thing is that remember, there's two sides to your cabinet door, but instead of working on this side over here, I chose to basically use this side of the door, which gave me what now feels like a frame around. You can get cabinet doors at your local, um, you know, like Habitat for Humanity, your salvage shops, those sorts of things, your neighbor's trash pile. Um, and they're awesome because for me, I really have, I don't have the time, nor do I have the want to go and be able to build myself something like a, a frame okay so if you can get doors for free for cheap for 25 cents a dollar two dollars whatever just for a few bucks you know what it's probably worth your time to do that but think about putting it on the opposite side which gives you more of a framed look and let's make that frame pop all i'm gonna do is grab my teal river and my shabby chip brush these are all, if you want to get the same look, all you have to do is go over to junkmonkeypaint.com and you'll find colors and all the tools that I use here on my channel over there. Get it shipped right to your door. We ship all across the US. And guys, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Now I have this, like I'm gonna bring it towards the edge just a little bit further, make sure we get the paint all over it. And now I have this beautiful little, make sure you get your sides by the way, right? 
put a little scruff of paint all around there. Oh my gosh, I am in love. So let me stick my paintbrush back in my water dish. Let's dry this up and we'll get ready for the finale. But already, do you see what happens when I add in that little pop of teal with it? Now it makes it interesting, right? So I took my piece from being, you know, what could have looked like just flat and on interesting. And now what I've done is added in another color, an accent color. And you can't go wrong with teal. Just saying, just saying. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is grab a sand pad. Grab a sand pad. If you wanna get the same one I have, which is like a, like I like a medium grit, um, they're on our website as well. Like I told you, everything's there. And now what I'm gonna do is push down and distress. And really even get a little bit more um, aging on this frame. Oh man, is that ever pretty. I love it. You can do the center as well. Here we go. All right, let's get rid of any of the paint dust. Look how nice that's looking. All right, and now my friends, now my friends, we do the finale and we get to seal the piece, okay? So this, I could use my banana peel. I could use my monkey shine, and I'm gonna grab my monkey shine because it's so easy to be able to work with. And uh, this piece, it's not high traffic. So all I'm gonna do is grab my monkey shine right here, which is our all natural beeswax polish. I'm gonna grab my wax brush. I'm gonna dip it in here. And now let's watch the magic happen. This is where the wood gets nourished. All the uh, paint pours just get plugged basically. So it protects your piece. Your paint is sealed in underneath. All right, oh, I love that. Let's get the edge, do a sweep of the edge. All right, and now for the grand finale, let's go ahead and do the, do the center. So anywhere you might see a little bit of that uh, chalk stick, remember, it's gonna dissolve, okay? It's gonna dissolve. So now we're gonna bring it to life. Look at this, how nice that is. Let's make those cotton ball stems just pop. I don't know if there's even like a, a certain name on what you call these. I just call them like really cute puff ball, cotton ball, stems, branches, twigs, whatever you want. You know what I'm talking about, right? Look how pretty that came out, guys. Is that not beautiful? Now let me grab my um, rag, my buffing rag. Let's see what I got close here by. All right, there we go. And now I can buff it. Oh my gosh, is that not pretty? Love the distressing, I love how that pops. Let anything that wants to flake off, flake off. And there you go. Ugh. Man, all right. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Now I have a shabby style decor piece that would be beautiful on my mantle, that would be beautiful as part of my gallery wall, and it's something very, very simple. And so now that you know how to draw cotton stems, you can put them anywhere you want, do as much distressing as you want, just have fun with it and let the creativity flow. So thank you guys for joining me for another DIY here on my page. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I love the love. Leave me a comment below uh, if you've enjoyed this tutorial. Tell me. Um, if you feel inspired by it, I would love to know. And uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, comment below. I'll be watching for you. All right, you guys take care. I'll see you again on Friday. Friday, bye.